All right, here we go. All right, it's so, I'm so excited to be speaking to all the awesome kiddos in Ms. Tao's kindergarten class. How is everybody? Can I get a big, what's going on today? How's it going? Look at that, I am so excited. Well, my name is Adam Hooper. I'm the proud daddy of Millie Hooper, and I'm an evening news anchor. Can anyone tell me what it means to be an evening news anchor? Does anyone know what it means? Well, you know what, I, I might be biased, but I'm, Millie's saying you went up first. What does it mean, Millie? I, uh, it means that, um, it means that everybody on, in Texas um, knows you. Oh, it does? Well, that's part of it, part of it. What, who, who else has an idea of what it means to be a news anchor? All right, Ms. Tao, Ms. Tao, help me out. They tell them. Right, can you speak a little bit louder? They go on the news on TV. She yeah. said they go on the they news on, on the, the news TV. on TV. That's absolutely right. What my job is, is I help people know what's going on in the world and in the community. Now, y'all are pretty smart, so I want, okay. I want to know who knows what community means. Who knows what community is? Help me yeah, out, Ms. Yeah, Nixon, help him out. What's um, it means people in the world who helps. People in the world that help people. People in the world who help people. That, that would be a great news story. In fact, right now, there's people all over the world helping people in Ukraine with what they're going through right now. So community oh is about people coming together. It's people you live near, people you know. And I get to go on TV every night and tell people what's going on in their community. I have a very exciting job, but it's not just me that sits up here and does the news. There's an entire building full of people who make sure we get to do great shows each and every day. So I'm gonna start listing off the job. So I'm the evening news anchor, but it's not just me, right? We have reporters. On the count of three, can I get y'all to yell reporters really loud? One, two, three. <laughs> Y'all knocked my earpiece out of my head. That was that was wonderful. Does anybody know what a reporter does? There we go. I think your hand went up first. Claire, you have a question? Yep. You're, so you're doing this on my birthday because my birthday's today, and I'm really happy. Your birthday is today? Yep. What's your name? Claire. What is it? Claire. Claire? Claire. Yeah. Happy birthday, Claire. Thank you. There you go. You got me yesterday. <laughs> next, a, next, we have producers. Do y'all know what producers do? No. No? Can I get no. y'all to yell producers really loud on the count of three? One, two, yeah. three. Yeah. Oh, golly. I had to pull my earpiece out for that one. A producer, their job is to write the entire newscast. They write all of the words that I read on a teleprompter. They put it all together and they put it on the, on the screen for me to see. The next one is assignment editors. This is a big one. I want y'all to yell assignment editor on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> that was really good. This job is very important. We have a man named Roland at our station, and he gets here very early, and he starts checking the websites and looking over the Internet and calling police stations to make sure that we have all of the news of the day. Then we have directors. Can y'all yell director? <laughs> no, directors, that's pretty cool. They, this is the person who pushes the buttons is what I call it. They push the buttons and take the cameras. I don't know, Jason, can you pop yourself up in the control room right now? Are you able to show them? Uh, the control room where you're at. There he is. That's the director. He's waving at you. <laughs> and just a, and just a few, <laughs> there's Jonathan as well. <laughs> In just a few minutes, I'm gonna take y'all back there too. I'm gonna show you around the station if that would be okay. Jason, are we uh, filming this as well? Are we rolling on this? I'm gonna make sure we're rolling on it. Awesome, awesome. All right. Now, now that you know kind of the different jobs of a news station, do you think it would be okay if I take you guys around the station and show you around the building? Would yeah! That be good? That be good? All right, all right. All right, I'm going to pull it up on my phone. TVU, we call this the TVU app. 
And I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to go live. Y'all have to forgive me. I don't, I don't do this very often with my phone. Can y'all see me? Yeah. There we go. All right. I'm going to turn this part. part this down. Can y'all still hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Wow. This is the whole, this is the studio. Look at all the lights. There y'all. There y'all are. All right. This is, have y'all seen the green screen before? No. This is where they do the weather. This is where the man stands on the camera. I don't know if they can see me here, but they stand on the camera and see, see, that's, that's the green screen, but it looks like there's a big map behind me. It's cool how they just put that up there, huh? So we go map, no map. Map, no map. That's pretty cool, huh? Look at all the TVs in this room. Oh, look at that. This is the guy making everything happen right now. His name is Jason. Hi, guys. Hey, and this is Mr. Jonathan. He's helping out too. Say hi, Mr. Jonathan. All right, we're going into the newsroom. This is where I work. Y'all want to see my desk over here? This is where it's really, it's really early. Normally, this room is full of reporters and people typing on the keyboards and finding the news, but this is where I sit. And you can tell this is my desk because it's got pretty pictures that Millie have drawn, has drawn for me. I love you, Dad. You're the best dad. I keep those on my desk all the time. We've got an important news meeting going on in here. This is my boss right here, Dean Weatherby. He's the one who writes the checks. All right. Go this way. There's one pretty cool part of the building that I think y'all will like the best. It's Millie's favorite part of the building as well. It's the big chalkboard wall. Have y'all seen a chalkboard wall before? Yeah. Look at this chalkboard no. wall. <laughs> Everybody in the building can come back here and they can, they can pick up some chalk and they can write whatever they want. You can see this is Millie drawing her, uh, her elf. Millie drew that elf. Now, I understand y'all are learning how to read, correct? Y'all are y'all are learning your words? Say yes. Yes. All right, let's 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 write something together. Y'all ready? You want to yes. help, yes. help me with it? Yes. yes. It's spelling really. Oh, what's that word? Wee. 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 Uh -oh. Whoa. 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 We love, 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 we Miss Tiles doing a great job. She's teaching y'all how to read. I'm very proud of y'all. All right, I'm going to come back in here. We're going to go back to the studio really quickly. Miss Principal wants to say something to you. Here she okay. is, Miss Hamby. Hi. Hi, Millie's dad. His name is Adam. Adam. Hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. <laughs> hey, I just have to give a shout out to Millie. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. So this morning in Carline, Millie gets out of the car and she hands me $2 out of her own money and she wants to donate that to go to our, our playground. Oh my Aww. gosh. And I just about, I was in tears and I was so proud of her because she took her own money and brought it to me and said, I want to make our <laughs> playground better. So I just now realized that you were Millie's dad. So <laughs> just wanted to give you a shout out that we love Millie and Why we're so thankful for her. So. Well, thank you so much for telling me that. She would have never told me. Millie, I am so proud of you, baby. There's so many things you could have bought with that money. I know how much you love candy, but instead you want to buy help with your playground equipment. So that is so special. Good job, baby. Thank Thanks. you for sharing with our kindergartners, too. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm coming right back over here to the desk. I don't know how much more time I have, but 
I'll go all day if they let me. Can they, can y'all see me? Before we go, I have a few like short videos that I thought y'all might like to see why I like being a news anchor so much. I get to do a lot of cool things that not everybody gets to do so that I can get the information out to other people. So, have y'all ever been to space? No? No. I haven't been either, but I got to talk to people in space while they were in space. Jason, can we roll that first piece of video? I'm noticing how you guys are kind of just letting the microphone float around there, which brings me to my next point. What's it like experiencing the weightlessness of space? Can you explain that to us? What does that feel like? It's uh, difficult to explain uh, how to, what it feels like. Uh, it's probably the best way to best analogy I can come up with is uh, floating in your pool. When you're floating in your pool, yeah, you know you're very free, and uh, that's the best analogy I can come up with. But uh, I like to say that you know space is a place where uh, the impossible is easy, but uh, some of the easy things become much more difficult because we don't have gravity. Gentlemen, thank you again so much for taking the time right, out Jason, of your busy schedule. Can we play schedule. not the that? second video, but the third Why video? This ha, Raise your hand, guys, if you've been to Silver Dollar City. Do y'all know where Silver Dollar City is? I love Silver Dollar City. <laughs> and the, the new portion of Silver Dollar City, Fireman's Landing, I got to go check it out before they opened it up. And I tried to do an interview on a ride. Check this out, Jason, this is video number three. Kevin, before we start talking, if we could just fire this thing up and let's see how we're going. So we're gonna start Lucky's Dizzy Dogs. And while we're talking here, I'm gonna interview him. There's a lot of stuff out here at the Fireman's Landing, and it's not just for kids. We've been on several of these places, a lot to do out here. There is a lot to do. The whole area, we want families to enjoy together. So mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, they can bring the kids and not just watch them, they get to ride with them, just like us. I see, we're, we're going up and down and down. I've never done an interview on a ride like this before. Tell me about Lucky's Dizzy Dogs. Who's this for? Lucky's Dizzy Dogs is really for those kids and those families. Lucky is cool, our mascot. Right? So okay. he is the Dalmatian for the ride rides and, and talk to people, which I love talking to people. I've loved talking to y'all all day. Probably the best part of being a news anchor is when I get to share it with my family. Jason, final video number four. Okay, final video. Let's watch this one. Really nice three-day stretch here. See, Patrick's Day wise, Mike, we're not looking bad either. No, you guys look great right over there. We got the memo. Got the memo. Uh, yeah. Well, I think I they said I did, so I went and got my daughter who's decked out in green. So <laughs> now I will get pinched. You hold on to her tight. On three, happy St. Patrick's Day. One, two, three. Happy St. Patrick's Day. All right, thanks, Mike, and thank you for joining us. Fox44news.com is where it's at. Check it out. See you tomorrow. I love it when I get to put Millie on TV. Millie, you like being on TV too? One day you're going to sit up here next to Daddy and do the news with me? That would be great. That would be great. Before I let y'all go, I want to know if y'all have any questions for me. Oh, okay. We're going to have... Nixon, what's a question? Um, I went to the Dharma City. No, I know. What's a question, not a statement? Um, Miller looks cute in the picture. That's a statement. Okay, questions. So it's something he can answer. Skylar. Is it hard being a little... Is it is your job hard? It is tough. It's tough because sometimes these lights get hot. Sometimes I get nervous when people are watching. And sometimes it's hard to, to remember what I have to say and get all the news together. But it is extremely fun because on days like today, and I get to speak to cool kids like you guys, it makes it worth it. So, yeah, it's tough, but it's yeah. fun and rewarding. That's a great question, Skylar. It's tough. It's Luke. Millie, what's your question for your dad? Um, so, oh, she wants to go. When when did she get another chance on the news there? She wants to know when she gets to come I'll back on the news. news. Next time you're here, baby, you'll be on TV. We'll put actually, oh. actually, if it's okay with Miss Tao, I don't know, there might be some pers per, uh, permission slips that need to okay. go home. But I'm planning on, if it's okay, putting a little snippet of what we did today on the TV tonight, if that's okay. Oh, you yes. want to be on TV yes, tonight? That's fine. I'm not going to watch TV. Today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to watch TV. Okay, what's another question? One more question. Jonathan, what's your question? Why not? 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 Why not?
doing what your job is. What What's it like doing your job? What, what's it like doing my job? Uh, it's very, can you say, do you guys know what stressful is? Do you know what stress <laughs> is? It's probably what Ms. Tao feels every day, but it's it's very <laughs> stressful, but it's so fun. I love doing it, and if any, the worst part about it, I gotta tell you this. Guys, raise, guys, raise your hand. Just the guys, just the boys. How many boys we got in the room? You're not a boy. Before I have to go on television every night, you know what I have to put on? Makeup. Oh, friend, listen. Did y'all hear that? No, we say it again. I'm okay. sorry. No, it's okay. All the guys out there, before you think about being a news anchor, before I go on television every night, I have to wear a lot of makeup. Oh, makeup! Makeup, right? Uh, it's so gross, but they make me wear it. So if you're going to be a guy in news, just get ready for that. <laughs> just before, before we go, I need y'all to help with one last thing. With one last thing, Miss Tao, if this is okay. Before we go. Yes, let, just a minute. Let me. Hey, one last thing. Let's hear what he has. Last thing to say. Y'all ready? Okay, we are ready. Before we go, with Miss Tao's help, I want to get y'all to say, we're in Miss Tao's class, and you're watching Fox 44 News. Do you think they can pull that off, Miss Tao? Oh, yes. Okay, you ready? Yeah. When I say three. One, two, three. We're Tao's Let's try it one more time. <laughs> wait, wait, listen to what you're saying. We're in Miss Tao's class and we're watching Fox. Wait, I'm going to say it wrong. Fox 44 Fox. News. Okay, so we're going to say we're in Miss Tao's class and we're watching Fox 44 News. Ready? One, two, three. We're in Miss Tao's class and we're I have enjoyed talking to you guys today, and Ms. Tao has my email address, and if y'all have any more questions about what it's like to be in the news, please just sit, let her know, and she'll email it to me, and I'll get it right back to you. Y'all have been probably the best interviews I've ever had in my entire career. Y'all did great. What do we tell him for doing this? This is taking his time. Say, thank you so much. Y'all have a great day. Bye, Millie. Bye. Bye. Bye.